What's good everybody, it's Just Awkward here from Wizard District Gaming. Now I know I make it look easy playing small forward, but small forward is anything but easy. Not only do you have to green a lot of shots, you also have to be able to dominate defensively. It does require a lot of stick skill, but having a good build is critical to success. So today I'm going to show y'all what I believe is the best small forward build in NBA 2K22. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so for position, we're going to make a small forward because we're making the best small forward build. I normally go left-handed. All my builds I make, I normally like them left-handed. I just like the way the release point is and like where the shooting is. Jersey number. I always go 29. That's my number. Um, so that's pretty much it. Small forward, left-handed, 29. For height, we're going to go 6-6. Pretty much in between... Um, a good height the, for small forward six five six 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 seven those are really the heights you want to stay in between for weight we're gonna go lowest weight wingspan max wingspan body type the body type it don't really matter pretty much um whatever you're comfortable with i normally go defiant or built all right so this is where i'm gonna start from the bottom going up to the top just so it's easier for stamina, we want to go like 90. You don't really need 90, but for my build, I went with 90 because you're going to be going through a lot of screens. You got to go through a lot with a small forward. So a 90 stam, you're pretty much going to be good. You're going to have double Gatorade. That's more than enough. For vert, we're going to go 75 vert. For acceleration, maxing out acceleration speed, max out your speed. All right, for defense, this is where like, this is where it really gets good. For the re defensive rebounding, we're going to go 81. Offensive rebounding, we're going to go 80. You're going to be able to grab rebounds against smaller players, point guards, shooting guards. You're going to be able to grab small forward, or you're going to be able to grab boards easily. And then against power forwards and centers, you're not really going to be able to grab boards. But if you hold the box out your center in pro -M or something, they can come um, get the board for you. For block, we're going to go 78 block. You get chase down on gold. And um, that's pretty much all you really need. And then you get good contest animations. For the steal, so this is a little trick that I learned like from creating a lot of bills. For the steal you don't have to go 99 because it requires like a lot of badge points and you can put them elsewhere so with the steel you can go to 98 and you're still going to have a really high steel and if you go any lower you can see on um, pickpocket um you have to, it calls an extra badge point if you go 97 as opposed to 98 steel so 98 steel that's like the sweet spot for it and um, you still only have to pay five badge points for um, pickpocket. Perimeter defense, we're maxing it out. Yeah, we're maxing out perimeter D. No interior. So there's two ways you can make this build. I'm going to show you how I made it. For pack as pass accuracy, you can go 85 for gold bullet. But with how I made my build, I went with 70 pass accuracy because all you need is silver bullet and you're perfectly fine. Silver bullet for a lockdown, that's more than enough. You can still run the break really good. You can still make plays, throwing passes. You're going to be perfectly fine with a 70 um, pass accuracy. For ball handling, we're going to go 84, max out your ball handling. And for speed with ball, we're going to go with 77. Yeah, this is that. So with this, you can be able to put the ball on the ground. You can be able to make a play for yourself. Um, you can pretty much get a bucket out the corner, bringing the ball up. Like you have more than enough badges to do that with. Um, I, I, I like putting the ball on the ground myself. That's why I normally always make like a play lock kind of um, thing. So that's pretty much what I did with the playmaking. And then for shooting, obviously max out your three-pointer. Mid-range, we're going to go to 68, so you can get 19 shooting badges. Free throw, you don't need that high of a free throw. All you need is like 77. With this, you can put um, limitless spot up on silver. You can stop at the top. You can put corner badges. You can shoot 
lights out in the corner. All you need is 19 shooting badges this year. Um, you got enough for sniper. You pretty much have more than enough. 83 pointer, that's good. You can green nonstop out the corner. So that's why I went with the shooting. Free throws, you can green all your free throws. Um, mid range, if you know your jumper, you can green your um, you can green a lot with a 68 midi as well too. So you don't have to worry about that. So now we're gonna come for the driving and the finishing. So for the driving dunk, we're gonna go to 85. 85 drive and dunk. And for the driving layup, we're gonna go 67. So this is pretty much it. You get um, limitless takeoff on gold. That's all you need. And slithery on gold. Those are the two main badges right here. And then um, you got your posterizer and your um, unsharpable right there as well. So there you guys have it. This is the best small forward build. This is my small forward build that I use now. And that's pretty much it. 13, 19, 22, and 31. And when you get your extra rebirth badges for um, hitting level 40 every season, um, you can put that towards your defense as well. And you can have way more defensive badges and you can dominate even more on the defensive end. So there y'all have it. This is the best small forward build. And for my badges that I use, I normally use Enchant Jump Shot Contest. And that's pretty much it. I'm a lockdown. I'm here to play defense. So that's pretty much it. So there y'all have it. A small forward build you can dominate with on the court. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see y'all season five.